How's it going? How's it going? So, I just want to take the time to uh, talk to you guys this morning, uh, this afternoon, to really um, say a couple things. One is that uh, as I continue to answer a lot of questions in regards to uh, the cargo van and the bus truck business, what I really want people to understand is this business. Uh, journey that I started. I guess I'm just driving. I'm going to pull it to the side real quick. So this business journey that I started back in 2017, uh, really, you know, uh, from a transportation perspective, it started in 2017, but, you know, it really started years ago. Um, and I you know, I've been, in, I, I have uh, started several business um, ventures uh, throughout the year. So uh, when I decided to get in the cargo van bus truck business, I was already, uh, you know, not new into getting into business. Uh, but what I learned is that, you know, through this journey, is that it was uh, it was an easy transition, and let me explain to you when I say easy transition. You know, I'm used to uh, understanding what structure, what business entity that I wanted to do. Uh, I studied the industry uh, enough when I first got in that I really wanted to get right into. Uh, it's a several things uh, that that people need to continue to realize. Uh, do you do you want to go on hot shot? You know, hot shot is a lot of times people have the pickup trucks and then they have the long uh, flatbed. Uh, you know, if and and you know the insurance on that is very costly, right? You can go that route. You can make a lot of money. Uh, but you want to make sure you got the right license. You want to make sure you got a Class A license when you you pull in uh, 15, 20, 30,000 pounds. Because uh, if you don't have the right license and you are pulling that, uh, I would tell you one thing. The state trooper will pull you over and they will shut you down and they will uh, fine you. But for the most part, a broker won't broker you a load like that anyway unless you have the, uh, the necessary paperwork. So we started with the hot shot. Second thing, what we would do is uh, what we call uh, last mile, final mile. What is that? A lot of companies are uh, looking for you to uh, uh, pick up maybe at a warehouse, right? And then they want you to make, uh, make a delivery within within the next couple of days, right? Um, and, and so... Uh, that's another option. Uh, another thing is on demand. On demand is just meaning that, you know, a lot of times uh, companies have work that needs to be done immediately at a specific time, right? And so you go on with that company or that company dispatch you out and say, hey, we got some work. Can you can you pick it up? We have a couple hours, right, for you to drop it off, uh, typically. Sometimes it's right away. They need you to do it right away. So that's on demand, right? And then you also have uh, courier services, right? What is courier service? Uh, typically, small packages, boxes, envelopes, uh, you know, in, a, in an office uh, environment, right? And and, and, and and so we go right ahead. Uh, you want to go in uh, where you have uh, uh, no-touch uh, freight. No touch freight is basically mean that a company will allow you to uh, 
uh, pick up uh, with a forklift if you're in a box truck. I mean, I'm sorry, if you are in a cargo van and they will load you with it, with, uh, they will load you with a, um, a forklift and they will load it in your van. And then you have another thing, which, uh, what you call a box truck. You know, you go to the dock, they load you with the dock at the dock. And, and from there you get loaded at the dock, uh, uh, or you, you, you have, you, you use your, uh, I want to say you, you use your, um, yeah, I haven't had my, I haven't had all my coffee this morning. Sorry about the gas. You use your lift gate, the, uh, the, uh, lift it on your, on your, uh, on your truck and then you, you position it on your truck. So these are guys are some of the ways. Uh, I know they probably many many more, but these are some of the things that you need to be aware of. People say, "Hey, I want to get I want to get started." Okay, what what is your niche? And then you also you have the apps. People have apps where you can go on the app, and how the app work is that you are really essentially you're in competition with other people. And you only have literally seconds in order for you to claim that job to deliver it. And so, um, I, you know, when it comes down to the medical industry, you, you deliver in prescription or you deliver in um, uh, uh, blood samples and, and things like that, right? And urine samples, all that falls under still under the courier business. So, guys, I, I just wanted to reach out to you and, and give you a quick niche of what, uh, when you get in this business of a uh, cargo van, bus truck, and even using your personal vehicle, this is what you can expect. And these are uh, the different avenues that you might want to take when you go there. Again, I'll, I always close out uh, my book, How to Start a Cargo Van and Bus Truck Business, www cargovanbusiness.com www.cargovanbusiness.com With that being said, guys, peace.